put it quite frank, I'm gonna show you the way. Why you flexing? What you flexing for? I'm gonna tell you how it is. I got a lot to say. I have 50 minutes to shower, redo my makeup, and do something to my hair and try my outfit. I haven't even tried my outfit on. I'm going to a birthday party at Dave and Buster's. I don't even know what party this is. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out the house. You guys know I'm trying to socialize. So, 50 minutes. Let me get started. What are you praying for? What are you chasing? Nah, not really original. No. Say you do it for your people, but they not watching. Overestimated your influence. Now you've just been talking. Tell me who's been checking for you. Who's been asking for a photo? I don't want to get to know you. Y'all can't even pay the total. Keep what I see and I leave. I don't got the time. Got some stress to relieve. I can't compete with Bells, it is Easter Sunday. I'm about to go to church. I just what I'm wearing today. I was gonna wear pink. I had this pink ruffly dress that I wanted to wear, but the weather is so crazy. I didn't have the right shoes for it. Yeah, so I'm wearing this instead. So <laughs> I told you guys like a few videos back that I had this dress that was getting too big for me. And I tried it on today, it was even bigger, but I found like this string that it actually belongs to my blanket, but we ain't gonna go there. I found this string and I tied it around my waist to like cinch the dress in. This is what it looks like. Really cute. So this is the look. I hope that you guys have a great Easter Sunday. I don't think my mom got me a basket. So I'm going to cry about that later on. Because I feel like I was a good girl this year and I deserve the Easter basket. But I don't think she got me no basket. Every year I ask her for a basket and she'll never do it. She'll never do it. Anyway, let me stop playing. <laughs> So pretty. Hi, you, you holding the cash? Say hi to the little babies. You say hi to the little babies. He want to play with you. He don't want to eat you. He want to play with you. It's a difference. You so pretty. You the pretty little babies. Oh, cash went that way. I'm trying. I'm trying, sweetie. He's so picky. <laughs> Cash is like, no. <laughs> Cash, you don't want to go say hi to that doggy? No? Okay. You don't want to go say hi? Aww. Hi, Shari, you little sweetie. You're so pretty. Oh, you don't want to talk to me, huh? You want to talk to Cash. Always. Always. Hey, guys. It is Monday, April the 1st. And I am on my way to physical therapy. I look like hot garbage very hot garbage but we're on our way and then I get on the bus to get here and I'm like please don't let me sit in nothing Lord but what happened I sit in something and I'm wearing them same leggings that I sat in something last time I don't know if you guys remember but like 
a few vlogs back, like maybe a few months back, I wore these leggings and got on the bus and I said in something. So I had to go home and change. And now it happened again, but I can't go home and change because I got to my appointment. So yeah, I'm a little bit peed off, but what are you gonna do? But I'm going to um, physical therapy for my back. Yeah, and then later on this week, I gotta go get my back shots. That don't sound right, but that's what it is. So yeah, I'll update you guys once I'm done. Hopefully, whatever it was, it dried up. Okay, right now I have my turkey in the pan with some green peppers. I have the heat on high because I want it to be crispy. I know I prefer my meat to be burnt. And um, I'm just gonna stir it into the macaroni once the macaroni is done. And I have some spinach on the in there too. But I have some spinach chopped up. I'm gonna put that in there as well. And then I took two serving sizes of this cheese. I'm gonna put that in there as well. This is the macaroni. And then my meat is just ground turkey. Man, that was good. Mmm. Shake this whole table up. It was so good. It is um, Tuesday. We're on our way to the gym. I didn't go to the gym yesterday, but I did go for an extremely long walk that I'm still feeling today. Today is supposed to be leg day, but that walk has me so exhausted, like down below. <laughs> that don't sound right. But my legs are so exhausted, so today we're going to do arms instead. It's the craziest thing. Like, I was walking yesterday. I'm like, why is my butt hurting? 
That walk was making my butt hurt so bad. It was funny, like I was looking in the mirror and I was getting ready. I'm like, I keep looking in the mirror and I don't recognize myself. I don't think my mind has caught up with how my body has changed. And like, I'll do a double take, like, when did that happen? Like, where is that? Like, even this little thing in my neck, like, what is this? When did this happen? And like, I'll be pulling up my leggings and I'm like, where did this dip come from? I never used to have this dip right here. So like, when I pull my shirt up, I'm expecting my body to still be like sort of square. Cause I had like a square torso cause I was so wide. And so when I pull my leggings up and I see this dip, I'm like, when did that happen? I don't know. We ever went into the gym? Um, yeah. And of course we changed the hair cause I can't keep the same hairstyle. I don't know what that is. And I got some more wigs coming in the mail. So yeah, <laughs> let's get going. Hey guys, um, as you guys can see, I just got home from the gym. This dog, he can jump so freaking high. Um, I just got home from the gym. Uh, today was so weird. So last week I was telling you, well last week's vlog, which should be going live today because YouTube, but we ain't gonna go there. We ain't gonna go there. But um, I was telling you guys in last week's vlog that I had started going to the gym earlier so that I could like sort of like avoid gym crush. It was just consuming my mind a little bit too much when I was at the gym. Come just thinking about, oh he's there, you know, blah blah blah. Like is he gonna talk to me today? Like it was just getting it to be too much. So I told you guys I started going earlier. So today I'm in the working out minding my business and I look up and here he comes. I'm like, are you freaking serious? Like, are you serious? And so he comes to the gym and then I'm over there in the free weights area. Cash, no, no baby, that's my protein bar. You can't have that. Um, but I'm over there in the free weights area and he comes over there and sets up his bench next to mine and works out beside me. Keep in mind, the whole freeway area was empty, so he could have went anywhere. But, like, I'm like, what are the odds that he would be here at the same time that I am? And, like, when I started going earlier, every once in a while, I would see him at the end, at the end of my workout. So, like, he had an idea of what time was coming. But I'm like, I don't want to be like, oh, he came at this time because of me. I don't want to think that way, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And like, I don't want my vlogs to be about the guys or whatever it's just like this is I'm sharing my life with you guys it's a part of my life so and this is what's happening right now but <laughs> you see how needy he is like I cannot just sit here and not pet him or he's gonna freak out but he, he won't let me just sit here and not pet him anyways um oh my god catch you gonna fall baby like he, he won't sit still because I won't pet him Anyways, um, we're working out by each other. I keep like secretly looking up in the mirror and watching him. I, I can see him watching me, you know? And then at one point, I'm on my phone looking down and he walks by me and I look up and he's looking at me. So like we lock eyes for a second and I just smile at him. And then I go to Wade, but like he had gotten nervous. I guess he like looked away real quick. I'm like, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> so the whole day, like, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. It's so freaking weird. I'm like, what is stopping this dude from talking to me? Like, what, what is it? I really don't know. I think he's just really shy. I think he's really shy. And I understand that because you guys know I'm super duper shy. Like, it is just disgusting. It takes forever for me to even, like, look up at you and get eye contact because I get so nervous. I've been trying to work on, like, eye contact, like, direct eye contact, but it's so nerve-wracking. All right, I'll check in with you guys late. So I'm gonna sit here and relax and enjoy this. Cause I gotta go to work. I gotta go work. I really gotta go work. Oh God. I was working on my um my speech today. I just, Lord be with me. The, the conference is later on this month and I'm just trying to get myself together so that I can just speak to this audience the same way I speak to you guys, just being, um, open and trying to be helpful to some extent you know <laughs> but god has been giving me like a ton of ideas so i just gotta like narrow it down and then focus on those key points so yeah y'all be praying for me okay i need to go oh hold on one more thing before i go 
So, like, I really want to get focused on really cutting down on my weight loss journey this month. And um, not just this month, but period. I really want to get focused. And so, I'm going to do a sugar fast. I I'll discuss this later with you guys, but keep that in mind. Okay. This boy keeps trying to get my, my protein bar, you guys. I have a freaking protein bar in my pocket. Look at him. He's trying to get it. It's a protein. Cash. Oh, God. I got to go, guys. Say bye to Cash. Say bye, Cash. <laughs> Watch him go over my, my protein bar. Look at him. Look at Oh, 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 oh. Cash, you know, you can't have that. So, guys, I'm in here um, getting ready to go to the gym. I wanted to show you guys, like, when I say, like, I see changes. Like, look at this. What is this? Yesterday, I was in the gym working out, and I was doing, like, what do you call those things? Bicep curls? And I was like, oh, my God. When did this come up? Even my neck, like, it looks longer. I don't recall being able to see my neck in a long time. My chin has always been so big, and my boobs have always been so big. Sort of, like, sort of, like, sandwiched everything together. But, like, just seeing these type of changes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey guys, I wanted to check in because I just realized that I haven't checked in with you today. No, this morning I did, I think, before I left to go to the gym. And then I ain't heard from you guys all... Well, I, haven't, I said I haven't heard from you guys. I haven't checked in with you guys all day. Anyways, I just went to the gym um, and came home because I had to wash my wig. Today was wig washing day. It's like I hate this day. And I always tell myself, Melissa... Take off your wig, wash it immediately, and put it away so that way they don't pile up on you. So I didn't do that, of course. And then in my mind, I'm thinking that it's just five wigs that you have to wash. No, it was nine wigs that I have to wash. So I had to give Cash a bath. And then after, did, after I did that, I um, went ahead and washed my wigs. And now I'm just detangling them before I let them hang out and dry because I don't want them to get dry before I detangle them because it just it's a lot harder to do it that way but yeah that's what's going on right now nothing major to report and I don't think I want to report myself just detangling wig after wig like I don't know what kind of good content that would be I have to get up so freaking early tomorrow you guys actually wait a minute, before I go into that I met one of my subscribers today I ain't gonna say her name because we didn't discuss that, but I met up with her because she had purchased something from like my closet sale So I wanted to give it to her. We're talking about her daughter and her daughter is going through it I don't want to say too much Just her health wise. She's going through it. So How do I say this? I just really want you guys to pray for her daughter, but I don't know how to specifically say Who she is to like get you guys to lift her up in prayer because I don't want to have her business out there uh, how do I do this? Well, the the good Lord knows. So if you guys could just, the subscriber that Melissa met with today, her daughter, if you guys could lift her up in prayer, and God, he'll know who you're talking about. If you guys just lift her up in prayer concerning her health, that would be just amazing. And if you are praying for her, please leave me a comment down below. Like, I really just, she just broke my, oh God. She just broke my heart today. Like, I don't know. I think life just deals us so much sometimes that you just have to be so strong. And sometimes it is so freaking hard to be strong. And I could see the pain in her eyes. And I just wanted to just hug her and cry with her and pray with her. But like, we're in the, <laughs> we're in the front of the gym. But um, sometimes it's just, it's so hard to have to be so strong, especially when all you want to do is break down. So not only keep her daughter in prayer, but keep her in prayer as well. Um, I don't want to say too much, but that's all I'm going to say. Just, just keep them both in prayer. <sighs> trying to think about it because I'm going to start crying. I was in the gym on the treadmill just praying, just praying, just praying because like, I know what the doctors say, but I know what God says, and he always has the final word. So, you know, that that's what we're banking on, that he has the final word. Um, but yeah, I'm going to detangle the rest of these wigs, because it's a lot. My back is, like, going through. Oh, that's what I was telling you guys. Um, my back. So, tomorrow morning, I had to get up so early. So early. I have to get up. My, my appointment is at 7.30 in the freaking morning. I go to the doctor's to get this shot in my back um hopefully 
that'll help with the pain. When I went to physical therapy the other day, he was saying that he thinks my pain is more so nerve focused, and I believe it is too. So I don't know if the shot is going to help. I don't even know if the physical therapy is going to help, but he is teaching me ways to relieve the pressure on the nerves so that it won't be so agitated all the time. And I'm just praying to God everything goes smoothly and it's effective this time and they don't cause any complications in the name of Jesus, I pray. But I had to look at that. I'm not, I was like talking to my mom about it. I was like, I'm going to ask them, can I go to the gym afterwards? Can I want to go to the gym tomorrow? Like I've only been, what, two, three days this week? I don't know, but I want to go to the gym tomorrow. My mom's like, I don't think you're going to be able to go to the gym tomorrow. I don't think you should do that. I'm like, I'm not trying to hear that. I want to go to the gym. I want to ask them and see what they say. But if they say no, it's just no. But hopefully I can. But we're going to see. But yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to be doing pretty much anything else tonight. If I do, I'll show you guys. But yeah, eight wigs. I got to detangle. Eight. And one of them is so tangled. I'm like, do I really want to detangle this? I should throw it in the garbage. Because like, if it's that tangled, it's either a mix of human hair or it's just so old. And I, I have had it for like two years now. So maybe I should just go ahead and throw it away. I don't know. We're going to see. Anyways, yeah, that's it, guys. Hey, guys. I am up. I'm about to go to my appointment to get my um, shots in my back. I'm praying that everything goes smoothly. I'm, I just want to get this over with because I'm getting, like, anxious and I hate that. But um, whenever I get a procedure, like, look at this. Whenever I get a procedure done, I just get nervous. So, like, I'm just trying to give it to God. Oh, yeah, that's what I can do. Give it to God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to God. But, yeah, I'm about to go. Cash is freaking out. He just hates when I leave the house. He hates when I leave the house. Are you shaking, boogies? He's shaking. Anyways, I need to go so I can get there on time. But I will check in with you guys once I'm done. Oh, thank God, okay. <laughs> That's a Kia. It's Kia. Hold on, I need to edit my. Is this one? Oh, no. No, you playing with me? Um, I'm home. I want to give you guys an update. I've been home for like a few hours. I ended up going back to sleep for like a half an hour and now I'm up doing things. I'm taking today light because she said I can't do anything strenuous. So I can't go to the gym, which I was really mad about, but I'm going tomorrow because she said 24 hours. So tomorrow by the time I get to the gym, it'll be 24 plus hours. So I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow, but no nothing crazy. Like, so I don't want to hurt myself. She was saying that the shot it can take up to two weeks to feel the effects of it. Like right now, I don't feel any pain that I normally feel, but I can feel pain where they were shooting me up at. Like, oh my God, that area is very, very tender. It was so weird, like feeling it going, like being injected into my body and feeling that needle going through that. Oh my. And like my back is extremely like sensitive, like very ticklish. Like you cannot touch my back without me like jumping. And I was like, mostly, you gotta stay still. They're gonna be putting a needle in your back. And it's gonna be moving around in your back. You gotta stay still. So I was like concentrating on just staying still. But um, it's done. Now the only thing I gotta be like conscious of, because I was so nervous. I was just praying and praying. The only thing I need to be concerned with now is making sure I don't get an infection. I don't know how you get an infection. 
but I want to make sure I don't get an infection, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. I was in the, in the mirror because I had to go to the bathroom, and I was buttoning up my pajamas, and I was like, I said, what is all of this? This is like one of my favorite outfits I got from Fashion Nova, and I haven't worn it in a while because like, I have this thing where I tend to wear the same thing over and over again. Like, I have a ton of pajamas, but I'll keep wearing these same, like, what are they called? Um, these little Marvel comic book dresses that my sister sent me for, um, I think it was like a birthday gift a few years ago. I've been looking for changes in my body. I've been watching and waiting, watching and waiting. And I'm like, I haven't really been seeing anything. I was thinking too, I'm like, how often are you looking in the mirror at yourself when smiles is standing beside you? So it's sort of hard to compare because you see yourself every day. So it's so hard to see the changes without looking at pictures and stuff. But like when you're in the mirror and somebody is beside you, that's when you can really notice the difference. Because I noticed that when I'm at the gym and I'm in the free weights area, I'll see somebody. And I'm like, oh, they're so small. And then I look in the mirror while I'm working out and they're standing beside me. And like, I'm smaller than them. So I'm like, it always just throws me for a freaking loop. It always freaks me out. Because in my mind, like I know I'm smaller, but I still see Melissa where I started when I first began going to the gym. It's weird. But I was like, you don't really see yourself in the mirror often with smells standing beside you. So, like, I need to be mindful of that. Like, when I go out in public different places, like, to be looking so I can see how I'm changing. Anyways, I still wanted to say that <laughs> when I saw how loose this thing was on me, I was like, when did that happen? When did that happen? And keep in mind, too, like, I have not been eating too good this week. This, this past couple of days, because I'm going on a fast. I was trying to tell you guys that earlier this week. I got caught up. But I'm going on like a 30 day fast, which I'm not excited about. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not. But I really wanna get really focused on my journey, especially because summer's coming up soon. I wanna be like on point. But like, I'm gonna do a fast, like 30 days. This is gonna be so hard. But I'm gonna do 30 days sugar free. So, when I say sugar free, like, I mean like sweets, candies, um, regular pop. Like, I can still have diet pop or like, like regular items but like cookies pies cakes candy all that stuff no and like that that's my 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 um what's it called i don't that's the thing i struggle with is sweets I, i'll just say that so i think going on a fast would be good and hopefully it'll help me spiritually as well because like i told you guys it's so hard for me to fast it's hard but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be praying the whole time but yeah like i was saying um but seeing how big this got on me, and I'm not even at my peak, like how I was like a couple of days ago, because a couple of days ago, Melissa was on flat fat. I'm like, I've been working on trying to get my stomach flat um, by cutting back on the sugar and making sure I'm getting my fiber, and taking my L glutamine, all that stuff. But last couple of days, I'm like, girl, you finna go on the fast, we gonna eat. So, yeah. But yeah, but this, just seeing, this used to be like tight, but like now it, it's not. It's like, girl, and my coat, I gotta show you guys my coat. It is so huge on me. Um, I'll probably show you guys that tomorrow because I don't fight going in and putting it on. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. My back is feeling okay. I'm gonna keep resting. I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff around my room. Um, I need to get these wigs and stuff put away from yesterday. Hopefully they're dry. If not, I gotta find out what to do with that. But yeah, that's what's going on. Cashy poop, what you want, baby? Cashy is just oh lord, you guys. Woo chow. I think Cash needs to be in the house with a whole lot of kids or with several other dogs because he needs to be on you, up under you all day long. Or maybe even a house with old people that can just give him all their time, like all day, every day, because that's what he wants. I love him, though. Here he comes again. What? You big yet? Okay. Come here. Come here. You big yet? Okay, you ready? I got you. I got you, baby. So, guys, I added this superset routine um, probably like a few weeks ago. I want to work on toning my arms without gaining a whole lot of, like, muscle. Because, like, I have so much tissue, like, from loose skin. And so the more muscle I get, the bulkier my arms look. So right now I'm trying to work with using light weights. And just doing a few sets of those to help like tone my arms up i still of course lift weights because like i still want to gain muscle but i don't want to have like super duper bulky arms so doing this right here i do three sets of this super set so 
side lifts and then front raises, no side raises and then front raises with just 12 pounds and it burns. Like the whole top part of your arm <laughs> will be on fire. I went to the gym and I just got back home from walking cash. I was gonna record while I was walking him, but walking cash is like, <sighs> it's like he has ADHD, you know? Like he can't just walk in a line. He's <sighs> like the whole time, especially if a loud noise happens or like a bike runs by, he's like, oh God. Like, it's like the craziest thing. He'd be scaring the crap out of me. So, like, I'll have his leash, and then I'll have a hand around the string because he's so tiny and he's so fast. I call him, like, Speedy Gonzalez because he's that quick. So, I have to watch him because I don't want him to jump out in front of something. Or It's really scary. So, um, I just took him for a walk. Went to the gym. I tried recording in the gym. I don't like this last few vlogs. Like, recording in the gym has not been happening as much as I wanted to. But I've just been trying to be focused on my workout. So, um, I'll try to do better next week if you guys want to see more of that content. I feel like I've already shared my routine, or at least some of it. Maybe not all of it, because I, 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 sometimes I change things up. Like, today I was going to do abs by themselves, but I was trying to be careful because of my back. Then I ended up doing a full body workout, like full body Friday. So, but I, I was careful. I did less weight than what I normally do, and I was paying attention to my back. Speaking of which, so my back. <laughs> So I went to the doctor to get shots in my back because my left side has been like, whew, it's been bad. Like this past week has been more calm, but like prior to that, it had been like at a nine. It has been, it has been so bad. And then like the numbness has been going down my leg and to my foot. It, it's just been really bad. So I got shot in my back and already, already it feels so much better. And they were telling me it could take up to two weeks, but already I'm feeling better. Like the spot where I got the shot at yesterday was hurting, but that's not, y'all even see him, he's on me again. But um, the spot where I got a shot at yesterday, it was hurting, but right now I don't even feel it. So like that shot is miraculous. Now with that being said, now I'm more conscious of this side hurting. I think because this side was hurting so bad that my, my, my brain couldn't really understand that this side was hurting too. So, like, this side hurts. It's not, like, as bad as this side was. So, right now, I'm going to ignore it because I really don't want to get a shot on that side, too, if I, like, absolutely have to. But this side hurts. So, I'm going to be mindful of it. I am doing physical therapy, so hopefully I'll get some relief with that during that. Anyways, one more thing. So, I was telling you guys, because this is my coat. You guys have seen me wear this coat a thousand and one times. I love it. It's so black and beautiful but i was telling you guys i put it on the other day because i was gonna wear it because it was snowy and it was cold outside and when i put it on i was like what the heck it's so giant i can't wear this it's so soft oh my god it's like butter but i'm like melissa where are you going wearing this gigantic coat like is it just me or is it just like extremely big am i wrong i don't know but i was looking in the mirror i was like no, it's just, it's so big now. Like, I don't know. It was, it's always been oversized, but not like this. This is like, like, this is just ridiculous. So, I don't know. I don't know. I hate the part with it. It's so beautiful. And it's so soft. Like, look at this fur. Oh. If I could make a blanket out of this, I would. Okay, anyways. The last thing I'm going to talk about before I close this vlog out, because I need to get this vlog edited. So, I'm going to be going on a 30-day fast. I'm going to be, like, chronicling my... Chronicling? Chronic? Chrono? Girl, I'm going to be filming my journey. I think I'm going to focus on that more so than the vlogs. Is that coming? Actually, I don't know, because my trip is coming up, too. Y'all keep me prayed up about this trip. Because, like, the nerves are starting to build. But, yeah, um... I'm going on a fast, which probably be good because like maybe it'll help me get into the mindset for this conference. It's warm outside today, so everybody and their mama's outside. I don't know how it was snowing one day, and then now it's just hot outside, and it's beautiful. Y'all hear there was an earthquake in New York? An earthquake? First I'm seeing a 4.7 magnitude, then I'm seeing a 5.5 magnitude. I mean, New York cannot afford an earthquake. The island is already sinking. Like, they cannot afford an earthquake. The island's sinking, buildings is leaning. You know, they don't need an earthquake. That was crazy to me. Anyways, like I was saying, 
But yeah, I'm going on a sugar fast. Like, that means the junk food. Like cake, cookies, ice cream. And that's like, now I can do low calorie alternatives like my protein ice cream, um, sugar free items. But like, I'm gonna try to minimize that because sugar free stuff, you have like them, the sugar alcohol in it, which it makes your stomach up. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to focus more on like fruits and like more natural things. Yeah, but like cookies, pies, cakes, ice creams, chocolate, which is my baby. I'm gonna be cutting that stuff out. Like this past week, I've been I've been enjoying myself. I've been eating everything I could find. I'm surprised my stomach is not bigger than what it, it normally would be. I think over the next few days it's gonna get bigger. Um, Cause like I said, I've been eating, and normally it takes a couple of days for my body to catch up to what I've been eating. So my stomach is gonna get really big. But I'm gonna be filling all that for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys where I begin at. And just show you the progress along my um, my fast. Show you how I've been feeling physically, mentally, all that good stuff. I know sugar is like crack. It's really bad. Our bodies feed it. I crave sugar, especially chocolate. Um, and it's also bad for anxiety, uh, mental health, period. I heard, I heard it can cause anxiety and depression. So, yeah. 30 days, you guys. No pop, no juice, no nothing. <sighs> But we'll, we'll go more into that in those videos. But, yeah, I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. I'm going to be showing you how big this stomach going to be. Because in, in a few days, this stomach is going to be, like, protruding. But, um, yeah, I'm going to continue to enjoy the next couple of days. And then cold turkey, 30 days. I'm scared. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm going to be filming it to help keep myself accountable. Because if I don't, I, I know me. I'm going to be like, oh, it's been two days. I need some chocolate. I'm going to give up. So I don't want to do that, so I'm going to film it to help keep myself on track and um, hopefully encourage you guys to jump start your journey because I know summertime is coming. Summer is coming. And those of you that have started going to the gym, you know what it is. We got to get on track, stay focused, see the results. And I, that's why I really want to see. I want to see some more results. Hey, guys. It is um, it's Saturday. So I just got done filming my hair tutorial. It was so sad taking off my wig. I'm going to put it right back on. Like, I'm going to wear this one today. Um, but I was going to end my vlog yesterday, and I edited my vlog, and it was like 30-something minutes. I said, that's not long enough. And then I remembered that I have an event to go to today, so I want to record that for you guys. And my brother, <laughs> then my brother just told me he wants to go hang out today, and, and I'm going to the gym. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's supposed to be my last day of enjoying my sweets. I don't know how this is going to work. So we're going to see what's going to happen. I don't, I don't know. But, <laughs> so, yeah, I got to go to the gym. Then my brother wants to hang out. And then I have, like, like, how do I explain this? Like, my mom, she's in, like, a business class. And, like, the class is coming to an end. So they're having, like, a party at a mansion. And there's supposed to be, like, these rich people there that they're supposed to be able to socialize with. And, um, I guess party with I girl I don't know I don't know but my mom really wants me to go because she wants me to, of course to get more exposure she's really rooting for me to like get out more so like she's whenever she got an event she's telling me about it so I was like I don't think I want to go but she because like I don't know just like I don't go to like like really fancy restaurants or like high-end bougie stores like I just feel like it's out of my tax bracket and I just feel really uncomfortable in those environments so, like, to go to a place at a mansion and be socializing with rich people, I just feel, like, out of my tax bracket. I feel, like, awkward and uncomfortable, you know, like, the idea of it. But, oh, God, I'm pushing myself. And it is so, how do I explain this? A part of me is like, Melissa, revert, revert. Go back to who you used to be. Go back to being scared and staying at home. And like the, I just it sounds so comfortable and so welcoming, and I'm like Melissa, you can't, you can't, you gotta step out. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go. She was telling me she just called me. She said that it's not like formal, formal. I'm gonna wear a gown. She said it's not formal. You just gonna look nice. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I really don't know. I haven't picked out anything. Um, but yeah, that's what's that's what's going on right now. So I gotta go to the gym. My room is a mess. I just cleaned my room yesterday. It was so beautiful. But now I had to rearrange stuff and pull out all kind of hair and mirror stuff. So everything is everywhere. But I have to fix it probably tomorrow because I won't have time today. But yeah, I need to go eat breakfast before I leave because I haven't eaten anything. So yeah, that's what's going on.
I think I'm just going to do cardio today. I don't know. I got to see. Maybe a couple of glute workouts, but like nothing major because I did a full body yesterday. I just really want to go to the gym and it's nice today. So, <sighs> okay, let's get going. Let's, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, I changed my mind. <laughs> this is just too much going on. So, like, since I'm doing cardio only, I'm going to stay home and do it on the treadmill. Um, I'm going to try to do a like half hour to an hour on the treadmill. And then um, I'm going to change my hair. Like, this wig is fabulous. You guys can see. The melt is insane. But I just, I miss my curly wig. So, so right now I'm just washing it. <laughs> and hopefully it'll be dry by the night. So, <laughs> okay, guys. So, I'm in here. Walking on the treadmill. Walking, walking, walking on the treadmill. Anyways, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna wear tonight. So I just got done washing my wig, it's air drying. I'm switching that up because maybe I gotta put it back on. I'm feeling like a ball mole mole rat or something right now. The problem I'm having right now is that my stomach is starting to get big. I told you guys it's gonna get bigger the next couple of days. Um so right now I feel fat and uncomfortable. So <laughs> I'm like, what can I wear that is cute and stylish, but it's going to hide my stomach? Because I don't feel like wearing shapewear. So, so I'm going to finish on the treadmill. <coughs> I'm going to finish on the treadmill, find something to wear so I can go hang out with my brother. And I probably will find an outfit when I come back home or something. I don't know. Gosh, this is just so stressful. It's so stressful. But that's what's going on right now. So this is the first pizza, it's the Maximus, and we just added some sun-dried tomatoes, and we're just waiting for the Bruni to come out. Okay. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a good surprise. Look how thin it is. The crust is made with love. So guys, I'm back home. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit today. This is what I wore. This is what I wore today. This is something casual, cute. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm tired. But I'm actually wearing two different coats. Let me put this purse now. It was windy outside because originally I had on this pants got purple in them. So originally I had on this hoodie, but it was cold. It wasn't cold, it was just really, really windy. So I threw this on top of it. But yeah, but yeah, I don't figure out what I'm gonna do next. I think I'm gonna take my wig off and put my other one on so I can. it's already done. And I'm just gonna lay around for a little bit. I think I know what I'm wearing, just a two-piece set and just nothing too outrageous. This wig is so soft, but um, nothing too outrageous, but just a two-piece set. Girl, I am tired. Mm -mm. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys later on. Okay, so I better show you guys. This is what I wore today. Guys, like, everything is just becoming way too big. Like, this jacket. I probably just need to let it go. But I wore this with my dog. And my dog are like, getting too big. But I don't mind if they get too big. Because I can still wear them with a tight-fitting shirt. But, um, originally I was wearing this. But it just kept falling off because it's big. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to go relax. Okay, so guys, I'm about to leave. I ended up falling asleep. <laughs> I went through all that work to get this dang old wig ready. And I did a fall asleep. So we're stuck with the straight hair for today. Um, but this is what I'm wearing. I have some little heeled sandals on. Forgive the mess in the background. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I don't know. I feel okay. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just nervous. I'm just uncomfortable. 
and nervous. But we're going to do this, you guys. We're being bold. We're being brave. We're getting out of the house. Woo! Yeah. All right. Let's keep going, you guys. Oh, God, be with me. Oh, God. Oh, God, you guys, I'm so dang tired. I am tired. This was not what I thought it was. We'll discuss that when I get back home. But yeah, let's, let's. Hey, Bills. Okay. So today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. I didn't do anything like vlog worthy. I was just at home all day. I had a lot of work to get caught up on, so I did that. I didn't vlog yesterday. I think where I left off at is I was going to this party at this mansion. Let me tell you guys, I was greatly deceived. So we're on the way to this event. The whole time I'm in the, in the car, I'm like, where is this mansion? I can't wait to see it. I want to get some good shots of it. And we pull up and we park. And I'm like, and my parents are just getting out of the car casually, like everything's normal. And I'm like, mom, this is not a mansion. Where are we at? <laughs> we were at a church, you guys. A church. She was like, yeah, I know it's not a mansion. They changed the venue last minute. I'm like, what? And you didn't feel a need to tell me? I ain't gonna lie, you guys. I was like a little bit mad. A little bit disappointed. A little bit mad, a little disappointed. This is the second event this week that I went with somewhere with her and she didn't got me. The second time this week. It was more like a business meeting slash graduation slash church ceremony. Like, don't get me wrong, I had a good time. And I got some encouraging, inspirational type of words, you know, from watching what was going on. But it just was not at all what it was advertised to be. And, like, to say I was disappointed is an understatement. So, yeah. So, after that, I went to Popeye's, came home, and just relaxed. Okay? I just relaxed. Um, and like I said, yesterday I was working. So, anyway. So, today is Monday, April 8th. The solar eclipse day. Yada, yada, yada. The news coverage on this thing has been insane. Like, I'm like, y'all need to calm down. Y'all really need to calm down. Like, that, like, this is, like, something that never happens on a regular basis. I know it's a special kind of eclipse, but I just went to the gym. I was gonna go grocery shopping today, but I didn't have time to. So, um, 
I have to finish this vlog. So I didn't go shopping today. I'm probably, I'm probably just go shopping tomorrow and then show you guys the next week's vlog. Like at the gym today, I had left. My hair was looking all nice and curly and defined. No product was in there, just water. That's all I had in my hair today was water. And the way the gym is wet because it was raining all day yesterday, so my hair was just getting bigger and bigger. And then I step into the gym and the gym is humid. I'm like, why is it humid in here? So I'm working out. And I'm like, man, my hair sure is in my face. It sure is in my face. I keep pushing it back. I'm like, what's going on? It sure is feeling thick. I look in the mirror. My hair is like a lion's mane. Like, it's just big, gigantic, voluminous. No definition anymore. It's just like an afro. I'm like, oh my God. So, at some point, I stopped working out. Went to the bathroom. Put some water in my hair. Trying to redefine it. Went back to working out. Like, maybe half hour later. It said afro again. I'm like, oh my God. So like at the end of the day, like I showed you guys a clip of my hair. They put some water in there again, trying to define it. But it was just so big. Like it wasn't as big as it was previously. But like by the end of my workout, my hair was just so big. So tomorrow I'm gonna put some product in there to like help define it. Cause like if it's gonna be humid again, I can't. I can't. Today is um day one of my fast. Let me tell you something. This morning, I think because I've been eating sugar so much this week, because I'm like, I gotta enjoy myself. This morning, I'm like Oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to do this. 30 days, 30 days, no. Like already, I wanted to give up. Already, day one. So like I said, this is gonna be extremely, excruciatingly difficult for me, but I have got to do it. And like, feeling like I've been feeling mentally the last couple of days, cause I've been eating so much sugar, like feeling off mentally, feeling so fat and uncomfortable. I was finally starting to feel good about how I look. So like feeling so fat and uncomfortable these last couple of days, I'm like, ooh, no, I want to do the fast. I want to do the fast. Even right now, like my stomach is like protruding. Let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. But like right now, I have a, my stomach is like out. You see how it's jiggling? I have so much water weight on me. In a couple of days, it'll be back down. I'm going to be doing my L-glutamine, my magnesium at night. For some reason, I didn't notice. I just happened to stumble upon it like accidentally like I take magnesium at night to go to sleep let me show you take this at night like every other day because like I know this day it stays in my system for a couple of days when I take it but it's just magnesium got it target this it doesn't put you to sleep but like once you go to sleep it keeps you asleep which is something that I struggle with my mind is always racing I think I have like ADHD I'm not saying that in a cute way I'm being very serious but what I notice as a side effect is that it makes me pee a lot so between that and the glutamine this will come off probably within a couple of days because it's not fat it's just water weight so um i look forward to that so my stomach can go back to normal but i'm really excited to see how my body is going to change over the next 30 days not only that but how my mind is going to change i think it's going to be like a really transformative time for me and it's going to be difficult but like i want to um learn more self-control and not just when it comes to food, just in life in general. I think it's a very good thing to have self-control. It's very good. Okay, but with all that said, I need to end this video so I can edit it and put it up for you guys. So you're not waiting two weeks for a video. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Oh, God. Okay. Bye, Bells.